want to get better you got to get your ass on the treadmill Taylor this is me trying to motivate myself <laughs> you got to get your ass on the peloton get off and then get your ass on the treadmill right Ash Nicole looks up let's go get a good quote Ash Nicole if you want to be better you got to be better <laughs> that was inspirational that was insane I'm feeling it <laughs> Jared Renee give me a quote what would Michael Jordan do <laughs> <laughs> Alicia Marie, give me a quote. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. Quote Alicia Marie. All right, bye guys. I'm going on the treadmill. I'm going to take the shot. I'm going to take the shot. Guys, sorry. It's shitty lighting, but Morgan and I are going to tour another apartment. Woo! Don't worry. We have our masks. I'm very excited to see this one. Yeah. It's so cool how it opens up. Let me show you the bottle. See, okay. Like the lighting is so good. I love it. It's so pretty. Oh wow, this is so cool. I just applied for the apartment. <laughs> we got and now Starbucks. We're, now Cheers. we're making all the stuff here. <laughs> Yeah, celebratory Starbucks and then celebratory sweet green. It feels What's crazy. crazy is that I can't even drink this right now. So that is a good point. We can't do <gasps> it. I know. Just... Secured the bag, people. Sweet green, baby. I love being downtown. All right, everyone, here's the tea. I feel like I got a lot done today. It just still doesn't look like it. But the main thing I did is I took photos of my furniture. For some reason, like, I have so many forking books. So I'm trying to get rid of a bunch. I'm getting rid of this couch. So I'm going to try and sell it on, like, OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace or something. This is books that I've, like, already submitted to a website that I'm selling. This piece of furniture I'm getting rid of, my bed I'm getting rid of, my these two things I'm getting rid of. This is donation. Those books are all donation. And then these are books and the sewing machine are stuff I need to go through. I know it looks like a mess. It definitely is, but it's an organized mess. Progress over perfection is the lesson of the day. If I have like so much stuff I'm donating, I might just order like a junk service to come and pick it up and donate it for you. I think you can do that, which is awesome so I might do that just because my car isn't like super big and I don't really have like my family or my brother or whatever to come help me move stuff so I would rather just hire it out I think we're gonna head back to Alicia's house to have a nice dinner I'm gonna like jacuzzi tonight so that'll be a fun relaxing evening I haven't had Morgan in one of my vlogs in literally five ever every time I vlog with Morgan yeah, I've never uploaded no, 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 I definitely have vlogged with Morgan. I just have never uploaded it. I used to be the CEO of vlogging and not uploading it. Yeah, and like you vlogged some trips we've been on and like. Oh, I've, I've I've vlogged posted. every trip and I never a year posted. <laughs> Plus New York. We just took photos in Times Square. <laughs> Where did Catch start? I Ooh, I think it started in New York. New York. Yeah. San Francisco. Where are we going? San Francisco. <laughs> so beautiful. Tell. Like you name it, I vlogged it. I haven't uploaded. You know, we're we're less insecure now. I love that, <laughs> bro. <laughs> let's go to Alicia's house. I should turn my hair off. I'm picking Ollie up right now. He's about to get in the car. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Oh, How are you? Like a hot mess. Ollie's staying with us for a few days because uh, vacation. The rest of the roommates are out of town, so Alicia and I freaked out and invited Ollie to come. <laughs> yes, it is going to be an honorary roommate week. <laughs> Hey guys, I really don't have much time. Alicia and I are going to do something very exciting. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you, so if I'm allowed to tell you, I'm gonna tell you right now. We're going to test drive a car. She might be getting a new car soon. I wanted to look like somewhat cute and nice since quarantine. I'm like, what do I wear to go out to do normal things? When I was home, I found this plain blue and white like seersucker striped down shirt. I think it was honestly one of like my dad or brothers, but like I found it, I snagged it, and I was like, I wonder if I could style that cool. This is like super pretty. Preppy, so I'm trying to make it a little more edgy a little bit more me one thing you can do is like do the half front tuck So it's like this to have like that loose fit and then I'm just wearing these like Nike Jordan Air Force one type things They're Ashley's honestly so you can do that and I thought if once I have like my hair my makeup my jewelry in like and then my bag I thought that could be really cute But also make it even more like a little bit edgy if you want to show like a little bit of stomach Just do like a tie Make sure you unbutton a few buttons and then like do one of these like 
but I was like something like that with my bag and everything put together so I just wanted to show you like don't sleep on your dad's old button downs and even though I still feel pretty, pretty preppy and like I could walk around the east coast like I also feel super comfortable and like put together to because we're what we're doing is like very adult like so I just want to be put together not like wearing some scandalous thing like I normally do so yeah no, I'm gonna put on some makeup I've been really digging this um, Smashbox photo finish primer I used to not use primer at all but this I feel like old youtuber like OG youtubers talked about this and I'm just now realizing it shit. <laughs> I don't I'm already like geeking the fuck out holy shit I kind of get the hype when you sat in it, it felt more like I feel way more safe in it. Yeah, than the, the Porsche. Porsche. Yeah, like even the, it's just sturdy. It feels way more safe and sturdy. My mom would love that. Remember, I felt weird yeah, in the Porsche. I, I was kind of scared. I didn't at first until we were driving, and then I was like, oh, it doesn't. Feel On the freeway, it was like giving me anxiety. <laughs> better actually like you said the number one thing is i just feel so safe in it especially being a convertible i feel way safer in yeah. it it just feels way more sturdy i feel like it's weird because like a lot of youtubers get like Lambo. lambos and like ferraris I like and how teslas but she's getting like an old man's car <laughs> I like how it's, if you know you know but if you do, like most people don't know you know what i mean yeah we got back from test driving the car holy forking shit I loved the car way more than the Porsche. It's an Aston Martin. That's the two with that. I wanted to tell you, I'm so forking excited. Today has just been like such a crazy day. When we were on our way back from the dealership, Alicia and I were driving and I was in the passenger seat looking through my email like I am all day, every day. And I had an email back from my dream management company. And they offered me a position. I don't know what the thing is. They offered me to come on as talent. And it's the same management company that Alicia and Ashley are with. And I'm just so grateful. I don't know if I'm gonna leave this in, but I want it for the memory just for me to have because I just feel so grateful. I'm, I, I, I was so speechless. Like Alicia started screaming. I started screaming, but also was like speechless. I'm just still shook the house down boots. I didn't think it was gonna happen. I just wanted to share this exciting moment. I'm just, I'm over the moon happy and I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless and I'm never speechless. So let's go downstairs. I have some pretty basic stuff I gotta do. I, just working. All right, guys, happy Saturday. I feel so weird because I'm in my apartment and the couch is gone. I have that couch since like, I think 2016 and it was like my favorite couch ever. I just think I'm ready to like upgrade, but I gave it to the sweetest girl. She was so nice and her and her boyfriend came and helped pick it up and get it downstairs. So I'm like really sweaty from doing that. It's so empty in here, it feels so weird. Now onto the next thing, I'm selling this shelf and someone's coming to get it like, really soon. So there's this one, I gotta see room. This one, I'm just cleaning them with Windex right now because there's glass. And then this one, I wanna refresh start all new furniture. I'm like, the only thing I'm bringing is this mirror and then the TV, like this is the only furniture I'm bringing and a few decor items. <laughs> I'm sweating, but I got rid of all of the shelves. It's so forking empty in here. I'm feeling so grateful. I just feel so grateful for how that all went down. I always feel like I'm in Grey's Anatomy when I wash my hands because I'm like walking around like this. Both girls that I sold my stuff to were so nice from Facebook Marketplace, so highly, highly, highly recommend. What? It's so empty. Even all of this over here is empty. A washer and dryer. But like, what the heck? This is so weird. I feel like I've gotten a lot done today. Getting the couch in the shelves were obviously the first step, but check this out. This is all being given away. I'm having a service come and pick it up tomorrow. All donation. I'm actually using the service that will come and pick it up and then they'll kind of sort through what they want to donate, what is junk and what they can re-give to people. So I'm very excited about that. This is what the room is looking like. I already set up my mattress and the box spring still there just for when the service, I'm gonna have them take my bed too. And then same with this dresser. This dresser is just like, I got the dresser from Target and the thing is with the dresser is that it served me so well. Like I got so much use out of it. It just like, I didn't build it entirely well. 
So therefore, the drawers look like this. <laughs> R.I.P. These were my favorite Instagram prop, my Hannah Montana books. I'm almost tempted to keep these still, we'll see. I haven't even gone through my bathroom yet, but all the stuff I seem to be keeping, I just need to organize it. And then on Monday, Taryn and Ashley and maybe Alicia are gonna come help me like move everything out. We get to their house so, because I move into my place August 15th. I move out of here August 5th. So I need to get everything out of here. And I'm my other place, like, I'm so fucking excited about my other place. My other place is like, it's a high rise and it's just like not as roomy as this place. It's just like, I need to get rid of a lot of shit. And honestly, like, I'm not gonna lie. Like I love stuff. Like I love shit. So I'm getting rid of all of this stuff because I just, I'm becoming a minimalist and I have to because I have no storage room in my new place. Sad to see it go, but also happy to see it leave. You know what I mean? Okay, you guys, now I'm cleaning out my bathroom. So I'm going through all of like my hair, skin, all of that kind of stuff. My apartment feels so small. Or it feels so empty. What am I saying? I'm like delusional. But yeah, this is just so like. Taryn Renee got me present. Oh, oh. This is from my birthday, but I just haven't seen it because I was out of town. <laughs> <gasps> I've always wanted one of these. Are they, is it the candle? It's the homestead candle, oh. yeah. Yes, I'm always <laughs> I literally have always wanted one of these. Would actually make you feel like Hoosier. <laughs> <laughs> smells like clean. Do you sound? Natural coconut wax blend. Salvage denim fresh picked corn, newly harvest hay, and hints of fresh air to bring you to the Hoosier State. <laughs> yeah, <girl. laughs> they know! Wait, I'm so hyped. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Wait, this is so cool. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Come give me a hug on camera. Oh, thank you. All right, y'all. I'm back home. I just had an amazing dinner. I had steak. I'm about to edit a vlog. <laughs> yeah, she Don't is. Don't you just love that? I'm here with Alicia Marie. You look naked. Are you naked? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? Finishing up a video that's going up tomorrow. What Truth video? Or drink. Truth or drink. Producer TK went in. With the questions. It was lit. The girls are very happy that we're back. We are watching Unreal. If you haven't watched it, y'all have to watch it. It's basically like, if you like The Bachelor, you will love this because it's Basically like a producer from The Bachelor was like this show so forked up that I'm gonna go and make a show about how forked up the show is So it's about like the production and like how the producers literally like produce the people into thinking that you know So-and-so's obsessed with them or whatever. It's just it's crazy I definitely recommend it's on Hulu So go check it out and let me know how you like it or if you've let if you've seen it before comment below your favorite character I think mine's Rachel but sometimes she's like so evil that it's like, how could that be my favorite character? Good night. Good night. Be sure to like this video, give it a huge thumbs up, comment down below. I don't know. Comment down below your favorite song. It's just what came to mind. If you haven't mother forking subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm getting more views than I have subscribers. I don't get it. You don't get it, just subscribe. Okay, you, you feel me?